So my name is Judith Ferenc and um, I'm an illustrator and um, I got involved with um, Dawn of the Unread uh, in the Armour of Ill chapter. Uh, I was the illustrator and Nikki Monaghan was the writer. We worked together on this chapter. Um, I got into illustration um, once I moved to the, to the UK. Uh, I studied here in Kingston. I studied illustration and animation and um, through that after, after I graduated uh, my my first commission I think it was in um, publishing I'm just thinking which one was mine. well I think I just got in uh, it was through um, the degree show um, some people from Random House came to see my work and then I got an interview with Random House with my portfolio and and then it was you know people passed my name so I just got contact and then that's how yeah it seems a long time now <laughs> I just I like stories so I like to work with stories and um, so that kind of because there's lots of set, lots of things people do with illustration and I think I that's draw me towards um, yeah, publishing and literature so it, so book covers and and um, even editorials are but yeah more book covers are, are the typical um, work for an illustrator if, if they want to engage in <laughs> with literature I mean there's children's books but I'm not really I haven't really done many children's uh, book or children's work and and the, my first book cover that was just um, I did a self-initiated project and um, I printed that into a book it was like a small graphic novel and I sent it to people publishers and then um, I was contacted by um, um, an art uh, director from the vintage classics and I got a commission. I always struggle with not having a routine. Yeah. Um, so I really work night and day before deadlines, but I find it difficult to have a, keep a routine. Maybe there are things that generally happen, like I tend to work in the night more or afternoon. Um, but this place, so I, and I sometimes work from here, sometimes work from, from home, sometimes I work from a cafe. So it's, it really depends on the type of uh, thing as well. Um, the studio is really good to make masks because that I can't really do that at home. And, um, and also for, it's just really good to have other people around that you that they can give advice or opinions and it's not just about my work, but I see some other people's work, and then that that really influences me somehow. So it's not, it's just nice to be with in a create within a creative um, environment. I think my my style is quite graphic um, and um, bold. So I use I don't use many colors and. Um, yeah, I, I tend to do some more abstract, more in the abstract um, field. So, so the way I work is, um, uh, I, before I, I start, so if I have a brief, I, um, I do a lot of ideas in the sketchbook and I sometimes go on site to, to if, if, there is some, if there is a link or somehow where I can go on, on site to draw. So that all feeds into somehow the final <laughs> uh, final idea, and then the I well there isn't like two strict ways I can it's always kind of open and I think that um, the method should come from the idea it shouldn't be like you have to work this way because of the style just. But for Armaravi, I worked um, with uh, so I had uh, pencil sketches of of the 
of each um, page and then and then I work with some um, gouache paint <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like these just like on the sheets separately really loose and then I scan them in and then I arranged it on in Photoshop as it was in the original pencil sketch and then I flattened it and added the color well my brushwork remains as I do it by hand but then I put it together so it's more like constructing the the page or the image depends and also yeah for colors this is the the first page and then um, Nikki planned it so that mm, in the center uh, of the page there's the uh, Ashbury Library. Did I say it right? I've never had to say that. <laughs> and um, and she so in the in her description there were lots of things. It should be a busy page with ravers going to the yeah, the raver, going to the library and then um, the lions, the left lion and the other lion and goose fair. So I just put everything in there and then I kind of I made this frame so it looks like it references. Um, a map and I put the, her text in there so that's the first bit. I just I just I liked um, playing with the, the frames and then we're having three colors and then what how because of the peel so when she takes the peel um, everything the reality changes around her in the story so I wanted to reflect that somehow in the visuals and so one way was uh, for me to because the pill is red so then everything becomes red simple or also changing the like playing with the negative positive negative shapes and and with the frames and um, I like, I just really like Nikki's text, uh, Nikki's script. So her, their conversations were just, I just like the voice of that in my head. So I could really play with it, how it's said and how that moves around the, um, in, on the page. I, I thought that was a really interesting one because I never actually worked with a writer in this way. I mean, I, I before I've illustrated um, short stories or that but not I've never worked together with the writer so it was exciting that Nikki and me would shape the story together so it was I would do something and she would do something and then that would change my way and then maybe that would change her so um, I had some initial ideas and I think she she sent me her first script which I thought was really interesting and exciting but I actually really just got into it once we met up so and we had a chat about it so I could see more clearly or I had more of a vision what she um, wanted to say with this wanted to say with this and then uh, so she sent me the script um, broken down to pages and then I, I did a um, pencil uh, sketches for that I waited for her to approve and then um, so we kind of worked parallelly I think but we all were going for the same um, end or aim and then um, yeah it kind of it's always like this with me that it only comes together towards the very end and then for her as well because I think I I started to use her text in the final pages and then she added more uh, or changed a little bit the conversations and then I changed the conversation <laughs> the the um, out uh, yeah like how this the text and the images work on the page so yeah mm -hmm.